from obvious crushes to totally unexpected sparks flying on the Harry Potter set. Let's see. Did Daniel Radcliffe really write a love letter to his co-star? Is it true that Tom Felton had feelings for Emma Watson? I've always had a soft spot for, for her. And who had a crush on everyone on the set? I love you. <laughs> 10 years too young. This Harry Potter star was honored with special attention from Daniel Radcliffe himself. And you can see why, because Helena Bonham Carter truly is stunning. Dan had a huge crush on her and would give in to her every whim, like this one. Here, here, here. Here is my dog. So this is Dan, just, just for her. <laughs> and just see how the actor shone whenever she complimented him. He's got so much more handsome. He's really grown to a man. <laughs> the whole crew knew about Dan's crush, and he was brave enough to even share his feelings with Helena. True Gryffindor, right? Back when they wrapped the final film, Dan wrote her a love letter. And years later at the Harry Potter reunion, he read it to the entire world. Dear HBC, yeah. it was a pleasure being your co-star and coaster. <laughs> wow. Dan was still pleased with the pun he made there, and it's actually pretty cute because he often brought her coffee on the set. But keep listening. I do love you, and I just wish I'd been born 10 years earlier. I might oh, have been in with a chance. It's, right <laughs> it's cool how both of them can laugh at it now. And although nothing romantic could happen between Dan and Helena, their bond is obvious. The same can be said about our next stars. A popular girl. You might ship Hermione with Harry or Draco, but facts are facts. She ended up with Ron. And can you imagine a scenario where Emma Watson ends up with Rupert Grint? Because it may not have been totally impossible. Rupert declared that he was infatuated with Emma at some point during filming. And it wasn't only him. He admitted that the Hermione actress was quite popular among the boy cast of the series, and even Dan liked her for some time. As for who has the worst crush on her, Mia Radcliffe, I'd rather not say, the actor added. Yeah, that still remains a mystery. So, can we say that Rupert was lying about being uncomfortable during the kissing scene in the Deathly Hallows? Well, yes and no. I'll be honest with you, it's not something I'd say I'm dreading. Emma's a pretty girl, he commented, but still, it was a weird experience. Rupert and Emma had known each other for 10 years by then, so it really felt like a kiss between a brother and a sister for them, and there were no romantic feelings involved. Now. Let's see who else had a crush on Emma. Hermione plus Neville? He waited years and years to share it with the world, but it turns out that Matthew Lewis was totally in love with his co-star during the first few films. I probably had a crush on Emma for a couple of years, until I was 13 or 14, something like that, he shared. However, it never went anywhere. Yet at the same time, the Neville actor says that his feelings didn't make things awkward between him and Emma. Apparently, she knew about his crush and never broke his heart or anything. Matthew also shared some more behind-the-scenes gossip. At some point, pretty much all of the actors were in love with one another. Their brewing teenage hormones were to blame for that. For example, Valentine's Day during the second film showed just how serious things were. Here's what Matthew says about it. There was like love notes and love letters flying around. It was just exactly what you would imagine you would get in any high school. Just we happened to be in a film studio. I wonder if Emma also sent a card to her special someone. Hmm. Were they ever a couple? Every fan knows that Emma had a huge crush on Tom Felton. And some still want them to get together in real life. But how exactly did it all begin? Well, Emma didn't fall in love with Tom because of his bad boy Draco moves. It happened after a particular tutoring session they had on the set. The assignment that had been given was to draw what you thought God looked like. And Tom had drawn a girl with a backward cap on a skateboard. Does this image remind you of anything? Anyway, the young lady was instantly smitten. I just don't know how to say it. I just fell in love with him. After that, she'd always find a chance to meet up with him on the set. I used to come in every day and look for his number on the call sheet. It was number seven. And if, it, if, if his number was on the call sheet, it was an extra exciting day. Being a true gentleman, Tom never took advantage of Emma's feelings for him. I was, became very protective over her. 
Yeah, I've always had a soft spot for, for her. Eventually, they became close friends. Emma shared that Tom has always been someone with whom she could be more vulnerable with. And although nothing has ever happened between them romantically, no matter how much you might want it, they'll always have a certain kind of kinship. But here's the kicker. At one point, Tom also had a crush on Emma. Could they have a chance? Last year, Felton wrote a memoir titled Beyond the Wand, The Magic and Mayhem of Growing Up a Wizard. He shared a lot about his personal life in it. Among other things, the actor talked about his crush on Emma. That's right, she wasn't the only one who had romantic feelings. But the thing is, the crushes happened at different points in time. But either way, Emma has always been special to Tom. Even the actor's girlfriend once asked what he actually felt for Watson. I remember using that familiar old line, I love her like a sister. But there was more to it than that, Tom wrote in his book. To this day, the actor can't fully describe his feelings for Emma. He doesn't think that he was in love with her, romantically speaking. But I loved and admired her as a person in a way that I can never explain to anybody else, he says. And it looks like Emma feels the same way about him. We just love each other. That's all I can say about that. Now let's talk about someone else Tom has always liked, but in a different way. The coolest bromance. Prepare to be surprised because Felton actually had a huge crush on Rupert Grant. Ooh la la. Yes, the Ron Weasley actor. Draco certainly wouldn't approve of that, but here's what Tom says about it. Me and Rupert have always had a thing. I have eternal love for him. That sounds really sweet. The bromance between them was solidified in 2011. That's when Rupert showed up at the premiere of Felton's movie Rise of the Planet of the Apes. He wore a hand-drawn t-shirt that read, I love Tom Felton. As Tom later revealed, Rupert wrote the phrase himself when he was in the car. It was certainly adorable to see how comfortable these friends are with each other. Now it's time to find out who else was crushing on the Ron actor. Fake feelings became real. We all remember how overbearing and needy Lavender was when she dated Ron in The Half-Blood Prince. But it appears that some of those feelings rolled over into real life. Because Jessie Cave, who played Ron's first girlfriend, had a crush on Rupert. It was partly because of how sweet the actor was to her and to everyone else. He was very easygoing and very laid back. He didn't have at all any kind of ego. He was just a nice guy and very normal. Jessie shared her thoughts about him. And after they filmed all those passionate kissing scenes together, it didn't take her long to become infatuated with Rupert. I thought there might be a link there. Who knows, maybe in the future, Jessie hoped. But we all know that this crush never turned into anything bigger. And here's the actress who couldn't even choose whom to fall in love with. When everyone is your crush. Ivana Lynch stunned fans with her first appearance as Luna Lovegood. You're just as sane as I am. But it turns out that the actress herself was stunned when she joined the massive franchise. And on the other hand, she was a bit disappointed. Ivana expected to see everyone crushing on each other left and right. Yet, because she only joined in the fifth film, as she said, everyone was already calming down. It seemed like the most interesting things had already happened. Everyone had kind of grown out of their crushes and they were moving on to like people in the outside world and I felt that like, damn, I missed all the drama, she shared. So to save herself from utter disappointment, Ivana decided to have a crush on everyone at once. I was like, I'll just fancy them all. That must have been a lot of fun for her and everyone else, don't you think? Whose crush do you wish had turned into something bigger? Share in the comments below. And then go ahead and watch other Harry Potter videos on awesome movies.